or you're still watching Waze. National Cinema Day is celebrated annually on November 1st. It is a day to celebrate the delicious and versatile spice that is cinnamon. Cinnamon is a spice made from the inner bark of several trees from the genus cinnam Cinnamonium. Cinnamonium. <laughs> it is a native to Southeast Asia and has been used as a spice for thousands of years. Cinnamon has a sweet, warm flavor and a unique aroma. It is used in variety of cuisines around the world, both sweet and savory. Who is a fan of cinnamon here? I am. I love cinnamon as well. Cinnamon I literally rolls. had a cinnamon roll yesterday. Yeah, I was just, I was just <laughs> gonna say, I do, I do the cinnamon rolls. And again, I have incorporated cinnamon to my everyday supplement for okay. the last one year. Uh, because again, it's also a, a um, uh, what's it called, a weight management spice. I like, didn't know that. Yeah, it does. It manages your weight, so you're not, yeah. So a lot of people that want to go like the natural way to weight loss, weight loss, and all of that. Part of it is probably like um, boiling the sticks, the mm -hmm. cinnamon sticks. You can add a bit of lemon, you know, honey, some cloves, whatever it is. There are just so many I've never done formulas. the sticks, but I think the only time I ever. I tasted it once and I liked it. So now I, I use the ones you get off the rack, like yeah. the powder ones, yeah. and I cook noodles with it. Yeah, nice. I, I so you see, it helps. You see, it helps absorb anything, fat, and all of that. Mm. But so I do that. I do with oats. I've never tried noodles. I'll try that. Yeah, I do with oats. I've, yeah, I've, I've not done any of that. In fact, it was no mother taught me oats. Really? Yeah, because she would make she would make the oats and she would put the cinnamon. It gave it a very nice flavor. Yeah. Yeah, yes. it gave it a very nice flavor. But I like the cinnamon rolls. So mm. anybody that is struggling with weight and all mm. of that, I think is a good recommendation. It helps to just keep your weight in check. Okay. Some people mix it with coffee, like dark coffee and all of mm. that. But I'm not a coffee fan, so but cinnamon is good. So. Okay. I'll, try, I'll definitely try out some of this. I'll try, out, I'll try out the noodles yeah. one because I haven't um, tried that. But I do with oats. I do with a lot of things. I even use it to cook my meals sometimes. Mm, okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so who are we starting with? Angie, let me start with you. What's your news for today? Oh, well, uh, Majer Kuti uh, released his pre-wedding photos uh, with him and his partner, you know, one year after they got engaged. So they got engaged, I think, last year. Mm -hmm. And they tied the knot today. Yeah. And, you know, they released the pictures. And she's evil. I never knew. I know. So it's and quite... his I, school daughter. Yes, she was yeah. his school daughter. Oh, that's school such a school sweet daughter. story. I, I'm telling a very lovely Aww. love story. I was listening to it when I was on my way here. Yeah. He, he, she said that. So when did he switch from being a school father? <laughs> to, to, a a <laughs> to a lover, I know. So he said it was seven years later. Oh, wow. After, yeah, they had left school seven years later. This time she was in the university and he then... Um, he had just finished his studies. He had just finished and he came back to Nigeria. COVID then happened. After COVID, it was like, oh, after the lockdown, when they met, it was... They just picked up from so. where, since there was already history with them, it was yeah, very easy. It was very easy. So then I asked him, what was he like best about her? I said, his, her smile. Aww. You know, that he can live with that smile for the rest of his life. I said, oh, wow. It is well. Um, sweet. <laughs> but that's so sweet. I saw the, I saw, I never, see, what shocked me the most was the fact that she was evil. Because, you know, like I had, I had, so I didn't see her. I thought she was Yoruba or something, but... When I saw her mother wear the um, Ichago, and I said, mm. this, 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 she's full Igbo. Mm -hmm. She even did the palm wine carrying. She did, I said, wow, that's beautiful. I would like to say that I feel like the Femi part of the family, they're a bit liberal. I don't know if the word I'll use will be liberal. I'm trying not to use any word that makes him look a different way. No, it's not like fella is, but I feel like, yeah, you would want to keep certain traditions within the Clan. Let that, me put it that way. That's why I'm saying that I'm extremely yeah, that's shocked. Why, you know why? Yeah. So for me, that's why I'm actually a bit, hmm. I'm not shocked, but I was like, hmm. Well, okay. You don't even get what I'm saying. The way she has incorporated the Afro beat culture to her lifestyle. That's why I'm saying that I'm extremely shocked that she's not even. Because I would have thought that you know she she's part of the entire mm, you know. Yeah. 
the culture for Afrobeat. See, she's completely from I think it just is. goes to yeah. say that when someone is a fit for you, yeah. they're yeah. fit for She you. really embraced. Yeah. Like round hole, round peg. I'm telling mm. you. So I wish them a beautiful marriage and, yeah. you know, a happy married life. Yeah. You know, I, I wish them all the best because there's nothing like beautiful love. You mm -hmm. know, the only prayer is that, you know, God just preserves the home. And I saw her, her, her mother-in-law. Her <laughs> yeah, her, her, her in-law, her parents-in-law. Yeah. And I just have to, like, applaud Femi and... Um, Funke, Funke, Funke Kuti, yeah. Like, their relationship, they've been divorced and stuff, but their relationship is just, it's beautiful. I mean, I wish that even though some parents are divorced and their marriage doesn't work out but it would be nice if they maintain that friendship you know for i was their just going to say that yeah. you see it's only immature people because i've not seen any reason that if i have a child for you i've not seen the reason that i would be become very hostile or mm -hmm. you see all this fighting and all of that there is absolutely nothing you're going to do to me because what i can do is accommodate your nuances and keep a very cordial relationship, mm -hmm. not because you are deserving of it, because definitely there would have been something that would have made me to say, I don't do marriage again, mm -hmm. but because we have children together. So it would be nice that people can take a cue from people mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. right? I might not be with you romantically anymore, but because there is a child in the matter, at some point, adults just need to drop all the nonsense, mm -hmm. right? It's not about you at that point, it's about your child. So if it means that whatever anger, whatever you have, you are throwing it off the, what's it called, off the rack, just to make sure that that child is raised in a very loving and healthy manner, yeah. that yeah. is what is needed. So I, I wish a lot of um, people can take a cue from that, because I've seen some people, you, you, you are no longer with the person, you start fighting unnecessarily. It doesn't make any sense to me, honestly. Yeah. So that was a fantastic uh, observation. Yeah. All right, I think we should talk about that one day. <laughs> yeah. It would be nice. It's kind of a sensitive topic. For it me. is, right? I, <laughs> it oh, is. that's true. Yeah. I just, like, it just clicked. I just clicked no. it. But we'll, we'll, sti on on we'll still need to talk about <laughs> it. Or you come <laughs> on my podcast. We'll just talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Like because it would be, it would be, it would be, it would be nice <laughs> to, to hear from the perspective of the child, mm -hmm. right? And it also be nice to hear from the perspective of the the person, the parties involved, because again, sometimes if Parents can like hear from the part of the child. This is how this affected yeah, me. Maybe the others will learn and make better absolutely. decisions. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. I agree. Okay, your story, Sanzi. I don't feel like taking my story anymore. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much the same old cliche. Budgeting in Nigeria, and so recently they they got the SUVs, the 360 SUVs for the National Assembly and whatnot. So there is a supplementary 2.17 uh, trillion naira, which is mm. part of it. Part of those funds is a budget of 5 billion naira for presidential yacht, and then 5.5 billion for student loan. And so I was reading um, a breakdown of, you know, the, the supplementary 2.717 trillion. So the federal government is to spend 6.9 billion on cars for first lady's office and presidential villa. And also, he's spending um, um, uh, 2.9 billion on utility vehicles and 28 billion on the state house. Um, I, I think for me, what the major thing that stood out for me is the fact that, I mean, over and over again, we've talked about it um, prioritizing or just being considerate of the state of the nation and just being careful about the expenses you're making. You cannot make all these humongous budgets for yacht. What do you need a yacht for? And then you're making 5.5 billion for student loan and even higher than that for the first lady and renovation like. So you see when I saw that first lady I don't, thing, I don't. I just want to remind the president, you know, and the entire family, the first family, that part of what they promised was that, you know, you are wealthy. Everybody knows that you are wealthy. Mm -hmm. And so the promise was that, you know, you were not coming to um, office to spend Nigeria's money, right? You were coming to office to actually, um, what's the word now? Govern Nigerians mm -hmm. and, you know, serve, right? Renew so, hope. Yeah. So, I mean, when we hear expenses like this, it, it, it kind of like begs the question, what exactly... 
was the promise and those conversations about? Because, I mean, if you talk about cars and all of these things, these are things you already have. Mm -hmm. Like, do you get what I'm saying? I don't know how people do things, but I, every day I look at Nigeria, I keep on saying that if Nigeria were your business, like you... How would you manage you, it? You have it as your personal business that you are spending expenditures and all that. It's your money. You understand? Would you manage it the way it is being run now or you would do things differently? Like literally, when we have that question at the back of our minds, mm -hmm. it will just help a lot of things. You know, it will help a lot of things because it's just ridiculous. There are cars already. Do you understand? There are things already. What is he using at the moment? I don't know, my yeah. sister. We are very good. That's what I'm saying. So, so it's okay for you to want to do like an upgrade or something. Mm -hmm. There should be a there should by now there should have been a plan in place on how to re like use like reuse the old cars. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Even mm -hmm. if you cannot even reuse the old cars, no, you there should be a benchmark. I've said this thing several it. times, NG. If you work in a corporate organization and you are probably the manager, there is an there is a cap to the kind of car that will be allocated to you mm -hmm. as the manager. So if they say your cap is 5 million, and you say you want to drive a 50 million naira car, you go and bring 45 million naira right. and add it to the 5 million. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you cannot use a, a, what's it called, the company funds to buy that 50 million naira car. It's impossible. So it, that's what I'm saying that we just need to find some level of, I don't even know what to, exp what to call it, but it is ridiculous. There's a lot of suffering, and I don't think these people understand how much suffering is out there. You understand? We are the ones that see the suffering. We see what people are going through. Every day you're passing by, somebody's begging you for money and all of that. Mm -hmm. Why can't you as a, as a leader see the pain of people? It is very insensitive. Very insensitive for us to be thinking of buying yachts, buying cars and all of those things. When there are so many more things that this money can go into that will bring a better you know, um, livelihood for the entire nation. Yeah, It's just ridiculous. The NLC um, president, you know, there, there's been a lot of speculations Abba. that he was, um, uh, he was um, arrested. arrested. Yeah. yeah, he was arrested. But the police has come out to say that he wasn't arrested, that he was taken into protective custody. That um, they said that it is pertinent to state that the NLC president in, was in Ori as part of the arrangement of the Congress to mobilize workers for a mega protest rally in the state. In the course of their planning, it was reported that suggestions arose for the lockdown of some essential facilities, particularly airports, which led to some workers and other individuals resisting the uh, picketing process, leading to scuffles and heated arguments and an eventual attack on the person of the president by a mob. So upon the receiving that report, the Imo Police Command swiftly deployed police operatives to the scene where the officer in charge exercises operational discretion by taking the NLC president into protective custody. Um, at the state command headquarters to ensure that the protection of his life and that, uh, and that he was not lynched in the scuffle that followed. So the commissioner of uh, police thereafter directed that he should be taken to the police medical service where, where he would be accorded medical attention as a result of the attack. He has therefore been accorded um, adequate security cover to proceed to his other legitimate engagements for the day. So they said there was no such thing as an arrest because I saw it flying all over social mm. media that he was arrested. Well, let him also come out to come and see what, what transpired. It would be nice to also hear from the horse's mouth, not from um, the police command. So we'll take a break now. Let's discuss illegal migration in Nigeria. Stay with us. We'll be right back.